Arsenal pick up uh, yet another victory. Leicester failing to muster even a shot on target, meaning that Arsenal, of course, remain top of the table. Let's welcome in more on this, shall we? Don Hutchinson and uh, Frank LeBeouf. Don, again, Arsenal getting it done. They weren't sensational today, but they get the victory. Yeah, a couple of away games that have ticked off, Dan. They beat Villa last week 4-2. Uh, They're not on the road to Leicester, who have been improving over the week's um, but this was this was a, a, a win, I think, built on character. Like you said, it wasn't the best performance. They were good, don't get me wrong. Um, but second half, they had to dig it out with 10 minutes to go. Leicester had a mini sort of push at the end. So, you know, Mikel Arteta made defensive changes. But I was more impressed, I think, with the attitude and the willingness to dig out a result on the road. Now they've got two home games on the spin, potentially. They can stick a lot of points on the board. It's a nice way of describing, actually, Stevie, ticking off another game. Yeah. And when you're top of the league and you're winning games, I can assure you, they come and go really quickly. It's a fantastic place to be. And, and again, we're beginning to, or certainly I'm beginning to say it week in and week out. It's, that's the performance of a championship team. Yeah. Because no matter how good a team you are at your best, you can't be like that every single time you step on the field. But what you can do is when you're not at your best, at least be better than the opposition. And they were. They were. There's no question that the best team won this game. Uh, and the fact that Leicester never had a shot at goal tells you that if Arsenal are not at their best, then they can stop the opposition from being at their best. So, every way, which way you want to look at it pretty much, it's a great performance from, from Arsenal. Very much so, Shaq. And, and, and again, it's just leading us down this path to yeah. Arsenal going all the way. Yeah, I, I listen, I, I thought it was a really good performance from Arsenal, even though it was only 1-0, even though it took them as, as long as they did to get that first official shot on target. Trossard's ruled out, obviously. I thought their football was, was very good indeed. I, against a Leicester team who started the season so poorly, but have been very good of late, and yet you minimise Leicester at home to one shot off target um, speaks a lot about, about Arsenal and getting the job done. And, and though it was a narrow margin, though it was 1-0, I, I thought a lot of Arsenal's football was very good indeed and, and they were fully deserving of the three points. And we saw some changes as well. Frank, obviously, Trossard coming in and Ketty on the bench. No Thomas Party in the starting eleven, And that's something that Arteta will be hoping to achieve more even without his starting eleven, with his first choice starting eleven still getting the result. Yes, yeah, that, and that's a very good thing for him because he knows that the, the season is still long and he will, need, he will need to change the players, even if he doesn't have a, a, a big depth of, uh, in, on the bench. But he does well, Trossard does the job and uh, almost scored a fantastic goal. Mm. And uh, they all work well. Even Martinelli, if, if the only one who scored, and in fact was maybe not the best today f from everybody, I, I love, you know, the fact as Don said, the mentality of the players that they have, the fact that they're very compact all together, very mature. There was a lack of efficiency, of course, in the first half, but they kept on working. They work together. They're very narrow in between lines. You know, I mean, in the middle of the park, even without party, you can feel that you have players with experience, will give their best. They know how to work together. And at the back, again, Saliba. Oh my God, oh my God, the guy, he seems to be like Van Dyke, like three or four years ago, that you can't take him on. And that's, that's unbelievable, because when you have a defender like that, you know that you are so strong that you can try something in the middle of the park. The guy was going to recover if you make a mistake. And at front, I know Gabriel Jesus is about to come back, you have Enkitia, uh, sorry, and you have, you have Martin Lili on the, on the left side, possibly... Trossa in the middle, and, and of course, the wonderful Saka. I mean, this is a team, of course, who can win the, the Premier League, for sure. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.